Hello and welcome. After the FOMC meeting, the chairman Powell's press conference, it became clear that the bearish trend on Euro USD would continue. Yesterday, the bear round went on. There had been not a single candlestick that could indicate the presence of bulls in the market. The quote fell by over 100 pips after the release of a strong US GDP report that locked a 6.9% expansion of the American economy in the fourth quarter of 2021, well above the market consensus of 5.3%. In the third quarter, the economy grew by just 2.3%. Consequently, the Federal Reserve no longer has any obstacles on its way and may now raise interest rates Again, this background, the US dollar is strengthening. Chairman Powell has recently emphasized that rate hikes will not affect the labor market that has almost recovered to the pre-pandemic levels. Taking into account the current economy results, the American regulator may now adopt a more aggressive stance on monetary policy to curb rising inflation. So, the green back continues to add gains and there have been no signs of an impending reversal so far. Speaking of the macroeconomic calendar, Q4 GDP in France and Spain, well as unemployment and Q4 in Germany will come out today. The German economy is expected to slow down by 0.3%. If the data is well below market forecast, the euro may tumble again. Consequently, this could trigger mass buyout. In addition, the consumer confidence report will be released in the eurozone. However, the main focus of market participants will be on US macroeconomic data. Such reports as personal spending and personal income will be of central importance as there are key indicators that affect retail sales and the economy as a whole. Also, the University of Michigan will present and consumer sentiment and inflation expectations data. In case of good results, demand for the greenback will mount. From a technical point of view, the level 1.1167 acts as resistance. The moving averages are also gradually approaching the barrier. In the event of a false breakout at this mark, a sell signal will be produced. The target is seen at 1.1181, where long positions on a rebound could be opened if there is is the MACD divergence allowing a rise and consolidation above 1.1167. A breakout and test of this mark from top to bottom will generate a buy signal. If so, the quote may retrace up to 1.1200 and 1.1236 where you could see sell the pair with a view to catch an intraday correction of 1520 pips. Selling the instrument from 1.1200 will be possible only in case of a false breakout in the event of subdued activity at 1.1118. It would be a wise decision to wait for the price to hit 1.1018 and 1.1034. It may be rather risky to sell the error from the current lows today. Therefore, a more rational decision would be to sell the instrument whenever there's an upward correction and false breakouts. Speaking of the pound sterling, the quote trades higher. A false breakout at the level of 1.3411 will generate a sell signal. Due to the absence of fundamentals today, an upward correction may occur. It will be wise to sell the point in case of a false breakout at 1.3411 or on a rebound from 1.3411. 49, with a view to catch an intraday correction of 15, 20 pips. If Burst managed to protect 1.3411, the price could return to 1.3375. A test of this mark from top to bottom will produce an additional sell signal and the pair will go down to 1.3344 and 1.3301. If so, Long positions on a rebound could be opened, allowing a 20-25 pips intraday correction. However, if bursts protect 1.3375 or settle by 1.3411, it would be possible to go long with targets at 1.3449 and 
34.85. Good luck.